This is the EMX IRB Mon Photo Eye. This is the transmitter section of it. There's a part that looks almost exactly like it that's the receiver section. And I'm going to show you how to wire this up for the new Smart Connects controllers. So I have a black wire here, which is the common wire. It goes to the signal common and then over here to the power common. They're tied together here in the transmitter section of the photo eye. And then the black wire runs over to the gate operator. The red wire is power, and the white wire goes to the normally open terminal. The other thing that you need to do while you have the lens off of this is to set the jumper for 10K resistive monitoring. So in order to do that, there's a little jumper here. You pull that off and you make sure that it's on the left two pins. So you reinstall that on the left two pins and that has that configured for 10K resistive monitoring. And my sensor input has plus 24 volts, signal, and common. So that's how I'm going to wire it up. I'm going to put both of the red wires into the plus 24 volt terminal. And just close that little gate on there. Put both the black wires into the common terminal. Close that gate there. And then the signal wire goes in the middle to the signal terminal. That gate. The next thing to do is to make sure that it's programmed correctly. So we're going to go in to the sensor menu and make sure that sensor one is configured for photo eye close. So we're going to hit menu and then we're going to go into programmable inputs and hit select. Then we want to navigate to sensor one with the arrow keys here. There it is, sensor one. It's a programmable input. So you can go select to get into here. And then with the arrow keys, you scroll through and see the different options. So option one is not used. Uh, that's, that's what you would put in if there was no sensor there. Option two is a photo eye close, which is what we want. Option three is an edge close. Option four is a photo eye open. Option five is an edge open. And option six is edge both. That's what you would use if you had a wraparound edge on a swing gate. So that gets us back to the top, not used. If you want to set it to type two, eye close, hit select. So that's where we're at right now. So now what I want to do is align the photo eyes. So to do that, I'm going to go back one menu I'm going to go into Entrapment Sensor Response menu, hit select, and I'm going to navigate to where it says Photo Eye Align, here. And I'm going to hit select, and I'm going to turn that on, hit select. So now what I've got is the photo eyes will chirp if the beam between them is broken, and it'll chirp twice if the beam is restored. So you can use these to line up the photo eyes. So I'll just show you. I'm breaking the beam with my hand, and as I pull my hand away, you get the two chirps. 